Hey guys, it's Justin Hill here. Now I have some special guests in the studio today. Please welcome Jono and Amy Castano. So you've probably heard a lot of people talking about keto diets and what it means to be on keto or doing keto. So we thought that we would get the experts in today. They are enthusiasts about keto. They've put the call out to their followers on Instagram to get some questions from you guys. So we're gonna go through them today. But we do have to say, if you do wanna get any advice about an eating plan or losing weight or training, it is very important that you see your medical professional first. So we kick it off guys. So our first question, today is from Henna Barburi who wants to know if you can describe your version of keto. My way of doing keto I do like to try to still keep it on the healthy side and not eat too much like dairy yeah. too much bacon. Right, so Natalie Hayek wants to know where do you get your recipes from? For me like Google is my best friend mm -hmm. like if I want to create a meal I'll just Google how to keto fire. If I feel like lasagna you know you can replace it with like zucchini yep. um, slices or zoodles, yes, zoodles that's my favorite yep. kind of meal. Otherwise I could spend hours like looking yeah. at Instagram mm. accounts. Okay, so the next question is from Maria Monti and she wants to know, is it sustainable? For me, it wasn't personally. Yep. I did it as a six week approach because I did put on a lot of a lot of weight mm -hmm. over, the, over the holidays yep. and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give keto a bit of a go. Seeing Amy's amazing results that she got, like yeah. how much you lost over over 15, 15 kilos. but that was over a long yeah. period of time. But I also think it's about your lifestyle as well. Like yeah. for me, like I'm I'm on the go, go, go. Yes. So for me, it's about grabbing whatever I can. So mm -hmm. for knocking out six weeks was a perfect amount yeah. of time for myself to get results. Amy might have a different approach to it. Yeah. Um, I love it. Um, I just feel so much more better, energetic. Cleaner. Um, yeah, cleaner yeah. when I'm on it. So I feel like um, when I do take breaks from it, it's because there's probably like an event or yeah. something. And mm. socially, sometimes you can't be keto. Sumish wants to start doing keto, but mm. isn't sure exactly what it is or where to start. Okay. So in a nutshell, if you could wrap up what keto is, what would you say? So keto basically is, it's a it's a state, a normal process state that we that we go into when the body, it stops using glucose for energy. Mm -hmm. So then it starts to use high volumes of fat to use as fuel as energy. So we call that obviously the ketones. Yep. So quickly explain it, that, that's my version of it. Um, yeah. What would you say, Ames? <laughs> <laughs> Same. Same. Just what he what said. Anyways, <laughs> Jesse DeMello on your Instagram accounts wants to know where are good places to eat out for keto? I feel like I can go anywhere and eat keto. Yeah. yeah. Just because I'm so used to it now, like, um, I've been on it for months. Yeah. So I know what I can and can't eat. Usually, if it is brunch or breakfast, like I would just go for like the scrambled eggs and create like a like a plate of sides. Yes, just, like avocado. Huge um, fan of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, scrambled eggs, omelet. Like... My place has been grilled. Yeah. Um, grilled yes. burgers. Oh, yeah. So... Yes. Not sponsored. Yeah. But we sponsored. actually um, had yeah. grilled before. We Did came. you? Yeah. <laughs> sponsored. But I quite like their low carb bun. Lisa Guzman Eleven uh, has a really good question. Mm -hmm. She said that she tried it, but she mm -hmm. couldn't get past the first week because of the headaches. The so headaches, what yeah. could that be? from because that could be multiple things exactly. right exactly when i started ketosis keto i should say um i went for a lot of headaches as well yeah. and i just had a power aid and that really really kind so of electrolyzes electrolyzes like exactly or so, even yeah. reducing your sugar because yes. Yes. Sugar, your body's yeah. so used yes, to it yes right? you're so used to it if you're depriving it from mm -hmm. your body then yeah. obviously you're gonna get something in effect of right. it. Right, so. Jess Fit Girl Inspo wants to know, what do you guys find the hardest? Yeah. Just being out, being able to just, you know, go down to like the pizza store mm -hmm. and, you know, get a, share a pizza with friends. Yeah. Or like canapes. have cocktails, yeah. canapes. That's probably the hardest thing I would say. Yeah. For me, obviously, was the, the plan and the preparation for it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I wasn't mentally prepared and it was, it was difficult at the start. So moment. for the love of abs uh, wants to know, have your clients seen success by using keto? Yeah, definitely the results are amazing and I've got my face-to-face -face clients that also have yeah. gotten amazing results. Um, but when I do say that, like it's it, it doesn't suit some people, you know what I mean? Mm. Because some people obviously are, de are dairy intolerant, they love ha having carbohydrates yeah. and they never want to give that up, you know what I mean? But in terms of getting results, yeah, it does yeah. work and like, you know, you two can speak. Yeah, speak absolutely. Free. Lara Contorni wants to know, what was your reason for starting? I did it in the lead up for, for the, the wedding. wedding. Yes. Which yeah. was in October. The wedding. Yeah. The yeah. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I 
started because of Jono. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what made me start the results that I saw through social right. media, other people getting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick this out for six weeks and um, kind of vlog it. And mm. Desi Harold uh, has asked, what uh, kind of supplements do you take mm. when you're doing keto? Well, I take a powdered MCT oil mm -hmm. in the morning with my coffee. What is MCT? So MCT is medium chain triglycerides. Very good. <laughs> and it's a f um, an oil that gets absorbed very, very quickly. Right. So um, it converts straight to an energy source mm -hmm. rather than being processed. Uh, yeah, I have that in a powdered form because it's less calories okay. than the actual oil. Mm, yes. And I have that in my coffee so I stay in a fasted state because I do intermittent fasting as right. well. Um, yeah, I'll just have that and an MCT oil mm -hmm. um, throughout the day. If you look online, there's a lot of um, talk about how keto is bad for your gut flora mm -hmm. and um, yeah, there's no, there's nothing like in terms of fiber that's helping right. your flora. Um, I do take a probiotic as well. In terms of protein, vegan option, and then um, branch chain aminos. Nice. All right, guys, so it's pretty obvious there. Uh, we could sit here all day and talk about keto, really, couldn't we, Ames? I love it. I mean, people can just we watch could. your Insta story. <laughs> Call me later, we'll talk. If you do want to follow Jono and Amy on Instagram, you can hit up Amy at Amy Castano and Jono Castano Acero. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure. Thank you for having us. Thanks for listening, guys.